video released by NVIDIA is a technology comparison between full raster mode without ray tracing and the upcoming overdrive mode, which brings full ray tracing. This is not a fair comparison because most gamers with RTX 4090 GPU are most likely already using higher settings like RD, Ultra. Still, the more interesting part of the video focuses on the DLSS performance, showing an incredible performance boost from the third generation upscaling, and more importantly how slow RTX 4090 is without it. NVIDIA used RTX 4090 GPU at 4K resolution to capture the game in the new overdrive mode. The company has made a side-by-side -side comparison between native rendering and DLSS 3 enabled graphics setting. The video shows that without DLSS, the RTX 4090 render is only 16 FPS in some scenarios, in fact, the number does not go higher than 34 FPS. On the other hand, the DLSS 3 mode boosts the frame rate to 117, 138 FPS, so it is a massive improvement but at the cost of visual quality, with DLSS the frame is always rendered at lower resolution. Cyberpunk 2077 Overdrive mode also brings RTX Direct Illumination, a technology that can replicate the appearance of the light from numerous ray traced sourced. With HD and full ray tracing, gamers should also see soft shadow correctly cast from many sources. NVIDIA claims that those shadows will be physically correct, which is something that wasn't seen in gaming before. I hope you enjoyed this video. Also do not forget to like and subscribe. And ring the bell to be informed of our next videos. Until the next video, bye bye.